Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. Today we have a get ready with me and I'm super excited because I am absolutely obsessed with this outfit. If you guys saw the thumbnail, then you guys would obviously know, of course. But I do, I will give you guys details and everything of like where everything is from. I love just dressing really classy, really timeless. I think my outfits are perfect for the things that I do day to day and going out to dinners all the time. It's just so much fun and I just like, I love it. And and I think my style has definitely changed since I lived in Malibu. I think you dress a little bit more beachy, a little bit more chic. I think that's kind of when my style started to evolve a little bit, I would say. Maybe three years ago, especially during COVID, I think I really just decided that I wanted to dress differently and just more classy and just better so i have really been loving the outfits that i've been putting together and if you guys want to see like an outfits video or like what i wear in a week be sure to let me know and i can film that for you especially because i know that you guys like when it involves all of my purses and everything so i think it's always so fun before we get started i do want to thank dossier for sponsoring a portion of today's video dossier is a perfume company based in france and i'm really happy to let you guys know that you guys can also get your hands on them from walmart they are in walmart now and one thing that i do really love is that some of their scents are converted into candles so you guys can pick up a candle this one is you can see i burned so much of it already this is in floral rose and this is very similar to le labo's rose 31 or rose 13 but i love this scent so much it smells fresh but it also smells like it's like a signature scent and i get so many compliments on this whenever i have someone deliver something or if i have maintenance come in um, I don't really have a lot of people over at my apartment just like on their own so um, I can't really attest to that but I do really love the scent and I think it smells so good so I'm really happy that they have candles now but Dossier uses clean ingredients and they are non-toxins and everything so I think that's really great if you guys have pets or just children in general and you guys don't want those toxic chemicals in the air breathing them living with them so it's really great i do have a quote that you can use it's jenny fives to get some money off which is really great dossier always has deals online so you guys can see what they have going on right now i believe they do have a mother's day sale coming up for may which is really great so you guys can pick up your mom something for the holiday and you can even do like a candle and a perfume which i think is also really great i love doing things in pairs because it just feels a little bit more meaningful as opposed to just one item i know that can be a little underwhelming i think everyone should be grateful for what they get but you know it's just how people are sometimes and then with that ambry cherry is still my favorite scent for the month so be sure to check those things out i will have it listed down below and then i will also have the link as well as my code down below so you guys can check them out you can also head to your closest walmart to pick that up i unfortunately do not live next to a walmart so i cannot go in stores huge thanks to dossier again for partnering with me and always so grateful to talk about their products because i do genuinely love them without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the get ready with me Welcome to another Get Ready With Me. These are actually my favorite videos to film even though I just sit down and do like almost nothing. <laughs> but I do really like them because I just love like getting ready and chatting with you guys. I'm going to first prime. I did my skin prep already and my skin looks super glowy which I love. I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I, although I feel like, okay, I don't know if you guys have felt this way but if you end up crying, like throw <laughs> I cry a lot, okay? But if you guys ever cry, do you notice that your makeup just like comes off? Because mine does it a lot and I don't know if it's because I'm not like prepping properly or I don't know what if I'm not like setting my under eyes or something but my under eyes will go away first and then literally everything else will just like melt off even though I put setting powder, setting spray, like primer, everything and I don't know why it just does that. So I tried doing my eyebrows. I don't know if they came out good but I tried making them even. It's been a while since I've had my brows done like years since i've let someone touch them actually last year i went to a place near my bunda class and i went to like this threading place and i hated how the lady did it like she did it so thin and i left there like wanting to cry because i told her please no thinning it out like just take off the bottom and i had already filled in my brows so i just said whatever's outside of the brow just take that off and i literally cried that <laughs> day because I was just um <coughs> I was just super upset and before that it had been like six 
seven years since I had gotten my brows done so that was like huge for me so I was really looking forward to it and then it didn't end up being a good experience with my base I'm using warm glow by say and then also using Shantukai sheer glow bronze I just have it on here like that I use my spatula and then I'm just gonna put this all over my face I like it more so like down here and I do use everything then you can just use your hands to blend it in nothing crazy it adds even more of a glow I saw Sophia Ritchie's wedding her wedding photos and oh my goodness she looks un like incredible I have always wanted to see her in that style when she dated Scott I was just like ew like why would you date him like she had I knew she had the potential to be like super classy and just have that style that she does now which is so great to see under eyes let's get started with that i usually use this charlotte tilbury um under eye corrector but my under eyes are just so bad these days well actually it's gotten a little bit better from beforehand actually oh uh, yeah i should say they are still super dark and that's fine but i just wish that I, it didn't show through my makeup because sometimes it does do that and I don't like it. So I'm just putting it here. All of the makeup that I bought from the sale, I kept most of it. I did return the sunscreen because I ended up not liking how it smelled. So that went back and then I'm trying to think of what else I took back. The Charlotte Tilbury highlight. I didn't realize it was a highlight. So I was using it as a blush and it was a highlight. Yeah, that one ended up going back. I was gonna give it to Jazz, but I was like, it's I paid for it. Like I wanna get something else. I'm using Beach and I'm gonna use Dune as well for my under eyes. And then any of the other areas that I'm gonna conceal. So I ended up taking that back and I got other products, but I'll show you guys in a vlog. I just am so obsessed with the hourglass concealers. They're so good. And then going to spritz my face just so it stays. And I like waiting a little bit. So I did get a request for a maintenance routine. So I usually do, I usually get a lash lift, my nails for my hands. I do them myself. They're super classy, just short, really nice, sheer pink. This is my favorite pink and I gatekeep it because it's I love it. And I don't want anyone else to have it. And then also, I do get pedicures. For my hair, I don't do much, but I want to start getting it colored. Just maybe a brown for the summer. I was thinking that that would be good, but I feel like, I don't know, I just want my hair to grow. <laughs> so I feel like if I go get it colored or whatever, like they're gonna want to cut it and I don't want them to cut it. I'm gonna just blend this out and I always end up loving the way that this looks. It's so nice and just really great coverage. Now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with my Chanel foundation. I've been loving this one. I got questions about how to make friends at my age, and I feel like it's honestly super difficult because I prioritize work and I have school, like I work full time, and then also you're trying to maintain a relationship with someone, and that takes up a lot of time in itself. And I know it's very healthy to have girlfriends and do things to do things with, and. I feel like that's normal in a sense because guys always have their friends, they always want to hang out with their friends or business partners rather. And a lot of the things that men do are mostly business related or business minded. I don't, unless they have kids as well and their kids are going to go on a play date and then they talk about business. Okay, so I've been kind of like not sure which bronzer to wear because I have this one from Rare Beauty that I just picked up and then I also have. My Lancome one that I know looks good, but this kind of feels slippery at times. Like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like it blends out into nothing and it's a little bit oily. So I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. This and the Merit, I wanted to love both of them, but I just feel like I don't like either of them. The Merit one is also a little bit slippery and slidey. Like it doesn't really, doesn't have any like grip to it. It's just there. It sucks, I was, I feel like concealers do a way better job of doing a cream contour as opposed to actual cream contour products so i just answered my own question so i'm just gonna use the i'm just gonna use this lancome bb it's a what is this called skin feels good it's like just a skin tint but i love it for bronzer so yeah it's really difficult to make friends at least for me i've had friends in the past especially from social media and i feel like one thing or another like people like to pin each other against each other and then it's like just really weird i feel like all the reasons that i stopped being friends with people were very valid to me at least and i think that's all that matters and you don't have to go on the internet and make everything clear or say what happened and stuff and 
think as you guys can tell i kind of just let people hate me if they want to and if they decide hey this is not what like i think if people look at me and they'll say like well i would like to know what happened so i can choose sides or whatever it's like i don't care like don't choose a side then but i just don't really care to clear things up anymore like not that i really did in the past anyway but i think when my channel was getting really popular from all of the unboxing videos people were really curious and i think for me i just didn't care like i think a lot of my reasons were valid and i would talk to my family members and even people that i wasn't super close with i would just kind of ask their opinion from just a third party and everything was valid so i know that i never stopped being friends with someone for like a dumb reason it was all valid reasons and the more that you allow people in your life to say things that are really out of pocket or things that you don't feel comfortable with the more that they'll do it and they'll push your buttons and think that it's okay to joke about things like that or it's okay to say certain things and is absolutely not and so i think that like in those instances i really just protect my peace over like my reputation at the end of the day reputation doesn't really matter but you know who you are at the end of the day yeah i've lost plenty of friends and a lot of it is not for reasons that i that are stupid like they're all very valid reasons so i'm okay with it and i mean i'm living my life perfectly fine so I, there's not really nobody's really crying over anybody to be honest but i think that when you make friends you have to really just protect your peace and put yourself first and obviously you don't share everything in the beginning because i reconnected with someone in the past and i would share a lot with this person and you know we got close again really fast and it was just weird that this person ended up being a little bit i wouldn't say jealous but just kind of asking me advice on dating and we were both kind of dating guys and we had dates all the time because last summer that's kind of how it was and so it was fun until it wasn't and then i think when someone sees you being treated a certain way and they aren't treated that way by guys that they go on dates with i think they kind of i wouldn't say get envious but they kind of wonder or speculate or say things that aren't true and it's really hurtful and you just have to let those people go because it's not worth it at the end of the day like i'd rather be alone than with people who are going to listen to outside the outside world or make up their own assumptions before asking me stuff and that's just not fun to me i think in a lot of my friendships i'm i'm very honest and i'm open if that is if that comfort is there so i really don't mind it at all i don't know i think you just have to decide what makes you comfortable and what doesn't and as soon as someone makes you feel uncomfortable in a potential friendship you just let it go and if you really value that friendship obviously talk about it or see what's going on but i think if you can't even do that then there's really no point in trying setting my under eyes with the charlotte tilbury powder and i'm gonna go in with my translucent powder I like this one initially. I'm actually really excited for my outfit because I really like it. This is the Blur Translucent Powder from Laura Mercier. I also have Honey, which I really like, and I think it, it's like a really nice shade. I meet a lot of friends through business, through work, so I'm not really too concerned about being on apps. I used to be on Bumble BFF, and I'm still, I still follow a few girls that I'm connected with on the app, on my private Instagram, and we talk every so often, but it's not like, oh, we're buddy-buddy or like best friends or anything like that. Just kind of people that I know, not that I know, but people that I've talked to. And I don't think that I would go back on because one, it's like, it's kind of like dating, like people are shallow. They don't okay so i wanted to put a little bit of clarity out there for like the part where i said that like yeah sometimes people can be shallow on apps and that's just the nature of it you're going to always align yourself with people who have the same values as you not in terms of religion but just people who enjoy the same things as you people who um have similar lifestyles with you because you're not going to go on a trip with someone that is not used to traveling and then they're budgeting a certain way whereas you are very careless you're ubering everywhere you're just buying food whenever you're hungry whenever you want you're not looking at prices you cannot be friends with people like that it's not going to be a successful friendship and the friendship will eventually fizzle out obviously you've seen all those tiktoks about friend groups going to miami and i even told my bestie i said if we go to miami like we will never have that issue because we are just so similar and we respect each other so much and we live very similar i i would say like lifestyles like i think i'm a little bit more careless in terms of like spending and stuff because i 
have that flexibility and I think she does too but I think that because of that because we enjoy like eating out and we enjoy just activities together I think we are very it's very normalized for us we will never have an issue with that and we never have and we've been friends for years like and it's just been super peaceful it's also very important to not be accessible to everybody because if you are then what do you have left for yourself it's going to be very difficult to set these boundaries with people it's going to be very difficult to set the standard and that's going to be the cause of friendships falling out because you don't set those standards at the beginning so for example when i had a friend last year she would come over she wanted to come over every week and i and my mistake was saying yeah sure you can come here whenever you want like i really enjoyed her time together but then when it came down to it i started getting into a relationship i was dating somebody at the time and her coming over every weekend was not very I didn't feel comfortable with someone staying in my home without me being there and although I did offer that in the moment it wasn't necessarily how I truly felt I didn't set these boundaries and so I felt uncomfortable taking it away but eventually I had to and then there was also a situation where she felt comfortable borrowing I, I said something along the lines of yeah sure you know if you needed something I'm more than happy to share my closet with you not knowing that I didn't like sharing my personal things because I grew up as the only girl in my family. I grew up in the foster care system up shortly after that sharing clothes, but I realized quickly that I didn't like that because there would be a stain that I didn't make or something and you would always just try to find someone to blame. So then I realized when she was going through my closet, I was kind of like, no 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 you can't wear that no not that not that so then i thought jenny why did you offer this why did you offer the choice if you're not even going to allow her to enjoy it and so i said to myself like i need to i need to take this this away because i put something on the table that i actually didn't really it's not how i felt it's probably how i felt in the moment but not necessarily how i truly feel about the friendship in general like i didn't trust her that much to borrow any of my clothes and even then i don't want people borrowing my stuff like my handbags my everything whatever i shortly told her after that hey i'm sorry that i said that but i don't think i'm comfortable i'm not used to that and i realized that shortly after and so i did explain that you know, I just wasn't comfortable with it. And you have to just say no. And if people are going to be upset that you say no and that you're setting boundaries, and these are people that you don't need in your life, obviously. But it's very important that when you get on these apps, you can't be accessible to everybody. You need to set your standards. You need to set the boundary. You're not going to be friends with people, like I said, that don't have the same style as you, the same aesthetic. It's just not going to, it's not going to go well. And for me, I realize, um, I realize quickly that I cannot be long-term friends with people who have a nine to five because it just doesn't fit in with my schedule like i have my friends in new york and we're very flexible we can work with each other's schedules and it's not like they're working like a full-on like they have to work monday through wednesday nine to five every day and sure sometimes i do work those hours but we do always find time in between and i am able to be flexible and move things around and whenever my bestie calls me and she says hey do you want to grab lunch i'm like yeah sure let me just move like some meetings around and then i'll be there and so with that, I think it's very important to talk about those things early on if you do find someone like, hey, you know, I like their style, I like their lifestyle, I think it aligns with mine. Yeah, let's try to go on like a friend date or whatever. But I don't think that you should be scared or feel uncomfortable if you have less than five friends or two or three i think that's plenty to be friends with and there's no drama there's no people making up stories about you i remember when i had a friend group in hollywood we would these were people that are very like affluent people who got married to money and um you know i wasn't really aligning with that sort of lifestyle because i didn't i don't do drugs and i don't get super belligerent or like drunk and i'm not like going shopping every single week to luxury stores and things like that so obviously i was not going to be able to maintain those friendships because that just was not my lifestyle and in those in those settings people drink people do drugs they get a little bit more relaxed people are very nonchalant and it's very touchy-feely people will hug you for long periods of time and say like oh i missed you and these are how these people embrace and show affection to each other but often it can be mistaken as oh 
so and so is cheating on this person or you guys were hugging for a long time and so someone will see it and they'll go and interpret it a different way to the other person's partner and then there will be cheating accusations and people saying like you know you wanted this person or you're hitting on them or their partner is pursuing you even though they're already married and so once it gets to that like there is no coming back from it i think being alone is much more comfortable than being involved in drama and being involved in situations or accusations of people saying that whether or not having it ruin your reputation and at the end of the day like i said reputation is nothing like it's just what people think about you it's not necessarily who you are as a person that would be your character obviously really just think about when you look at someone and you say like well i wish that person was my friend do you really wish that and i know that there are people online who will say like oh my god she only has like two friends who cares who cares at least you know those two friends are going to be your ride or dies at least you know that they're always going to be there for you at and if you only have two of it so be it it's all i need when you think oh i wish i had more friends like just really think about it and when you get on these apps be very careful with the people that you are friends with and also make an effort as well if you if this is something that you really want make an effort because i said like oh i went on bubble bff and i wanted to make friends did i really no i didn't have time i didn't have time i didn't have the energy I, I was like traveling a lot too and even still i still go to new york pretty often like every month and then the time that i do have home i just want to be home with my cat or I have a class that I have to attend. So it's it's very, very tricky. So anyway, I just wanted to add this portion just to kind of like talk to you guys a little bit about it because I know I didn't really go into detail, but I also didn't want to make a whole nother get ready with me on the same topic. I just kind of wanted to add it in. So yeah, I hope this helped. Um, we can get back to the video. Talk to you of like you're pretty. And I mean, I was doing that. Like I would only talk to girls that I thought that I would get along with girls that i thought looked really put together and enjoyed getting ready because for me that's i like that so i would only match with people that kind of matched not my aesthetic per se but just my lifestyle and things that i liked doing and you obviously put that in your profile as well just you know your favorite activities and things like that and hobbies a lot of girls said brunch and you know that's like pretty obvious but whatever yeah there was nothing really that stood out to me on bumble bff i didn't really i don't know i think i'm just not the type of person i it's not that i'm not friendly i think i just i sound mean it's not that i'm not friendly i think i am but i have a hard time just making small talk or just talking about things that are boring or gossip i really don't like that i felt like a lot of girls like talking about celebrities and stuff or like celebrity sightings which are mostly transplants and I'm just not a fan of that, like that's not fun to me. Yeah, I don't know, I think um, making friends online is tricky. I like my friends better when I am friends with them through friends of friends or just from work or sometimes through just social media events or if, I mean, if they're nice enough. I feel like a lot of girls are not really nice. People would just be like, oh, can you, can you take my picture? Can you take my picture? Okay, yeah, that's it. And we'll, we won't like end up following each other. We'll be like, oh, what's your name? What's your name? Okay, can you take the picture? Like. Nobody really like follows each other or like tries to like be buddy buddy like that like unless you're super popular or they're trying to get clout or something or I don't know it's weird but nowadays I think like we all just kind of ask each other to like take our photos at events and then like we'll call it a day <laughs> and like that's it but if you're younger it's obviously going to be easier like if you're 22 or like around that age it's so much easier to make friends because you're in you're obviously going to hang out with like-minded people and those people aren't ready to get married or be in a committed relationship so you're not going to have friends that are always in relationships or always with their boyfriends and things like that and i think some girls get upset at that when you get into a relationship and you start to devote your time to your partner i have definitely seen friends be jealous about that and i just think that's very weird but i mean it's life it's it happens i'm actually so excited to work with this jewelry brand that i have a sponsorship coming up with next and i am looking at another van cleef like alhambra bracelet vintage alhambra i really love the carnelian but let me know what you guys think i'm either thinking carnelian or onyx both very different vibes those are the two that i have my eye on right now and i'm just super excited and i need to go see my jeweler actually now that i'm thinking about it um but i love jewelry you guys like i'm 
was thinking like, oh, I kind of want another purse soon because I love, although I love my Lady Dior, I'm like, I'm I'm kind of like scared to take her out sometimes because she is white. But at the end of the day, it's like, I thoroughly enjoy my products and I use them. So I'm not worried about anything like that really. But I just feel like, I just feel like it's a little white purse that she is, you know, just. To maybe maybe not take her out as much but i do want to enjoy my pieces so obviously i am going to use it i just have to be like extra careful and i'm always washing my hands or using sanitizer and trying to just make sure like i don't get it dirty or like damaged or anything because i'm so scared i actually had pasta sauce on it the other night and i i thoroughly was ready to cry like i was gonna i was gonna cause the scene but yeah i went to kulina the other day kulina kulina at the Four Seasons, that's like one of my favorite spots but I actually don't talk about it a lot because I don't know, I love hotel restaurants though, those are like my favorite but I never really talk about Kulina because it's not... I don't know, it's just like hidden, it's like at the hotel so I don't really like think about it a lot, only if I'm craving it or if I want like live music, they have live music there so it's nice to just sit around and eat and enjoy your dinner and have that okay so I had a few questions of people asking me like when I'm gonna get engaged and stuff and like I'm in a relationship but like I don't think it's that serious yet it would be nice to do that in like a year I think like a year and a half is a good time and then I remember seeing someone say like oh 24 is too young to get married like people used to get married at like 20 I think that's crazy and waiting a long time like I don't know it just seems like a waste of time but that's like very subjective though if you really love your person and you know that this is the person for you and you don't want anybody else and like that's it you're done dating then why not get married like i don't understand i never really understand when people say things like that like it's just really weird to me like obviously you get married when you feel like the time is right they're like sophia richie she's financially stable obviously so is her husband like why wouldn't they get married and like start their life they're obviously they don't have to have kids right away like i don't know but i cannot wait to get married i think it's so just a magical event in a, like your life obviously now i'm gonna do my lashes i've been using so i use two mascaras i use the laura mercier caviar volume and then also the l'oreal telescopic and then after i do that i end up sealing it with the true what is that called thrive why did i say true with the thrive mascara so i'm gonna go ahead and do my lash routine i kind of change it every so often so it's not like really the same ever okay so i just finished my eyelashes i i'm gonna curl them but after they are a little bit curly i mean they are curly still for my lash lift but i just like them to be a little bit curlier but they're still kind of wet the thrive mascara takes a little bit longer to to dry out so i'm going to just do this i'm gonna curl it after i do my hair okay but for my hair i'm just gonna use my um curling iron that i got for christmas i forgot what it's called but it's like a large barrel so i'm gonna curl all this hair i feel like oh my god i feel like my hair got a lot thicker especially from the base but here it still feels like a little thin oh well, hopefully it grows soon okay so let me just set my makeup Put a lot because I'm like maybe that's why my makeup keeps sliding off because I'm not putting enough. Okay, so this is my outfit for dinner. I just have on this dress from Yesto. I'll have it linked down below. 
my hair bow from Amazon and then my bag is the Celine Mini Triumph and I just added a chain to it instead of the regular strap and then this dress just goes out like that and it's super flattering for like the waistline. My waist is already small so whatever. And then I have on these little kitten heels from Express. I got them a long time ago when I collaborated with them. I have to say in like 2018 I think so it's been a while but they have croc detail on them and I think it just adds a little bit of like nice texture and like a little bit of pop in comparison to like the whole outfit because it's very simple. Yeah, I really like this outfit. It's just very me. You can literally wear this dress anywhere. I feel like it's pretty casual because the top is not like a silk or anything or like satin. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go to dinner in a bit. So I'm super excited. You guys know I love dinner. That's like my favorite thing to do is just to go out to eat. It's like always so fun. I wanted to go to Matsuhisa initially, but I did not call them this morning to make a reservation. So I figured we'll just like go wherever. And I saw that Dine LA was happening, but honestly, I really don't care for that. I don't know. I kind of want to go to like Beverly Hills Hotel or maybe, maybe John George again. I'm gonna see if there's a reservation for tonight. If not, there has to be. That place is like empty the other day. But yeah, maybe the rooftop this time. I feel like that would be really cool. That's my outfit. I hope you guys like it. I know it's not like everyone's cup of tea. And I don't know, some people might not want to wear this. But it's honestly like one of my favorite outfits ever. And I just love the dress. It's so like flowy and just nice. And you don't need like a special occasion to wear like dresses or anything. Just wear whatever you want and go out to eat. It's like the perfect occasion. That's my outfit. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I decided to finally include dinner because I know some people had asked me to do that beforehand and I never did, but we went to La Boucherie, which is in the Intercontinental Hotel in downtown LA, which I don't like. Their menu was cool though, it lit up, and I thought that was kind of interesting. That was the first time that I'd seen that. I realized I don't like French onion soup and I did get French onion soup, and this is a French restaurant, so just keep that in mind. I typically don't really like French food unless it's like a Michelin or something. They kind of create really unique dishes but this was very standard i just got a filet i wanted to be safe but i ended up sending it back because it was overcooked and then this flourless chocolate cake i thought was going to be a lava cake and it was not and i just am now realizing that that's condensed milk on the side but i didn't know that in the moment and yeah it was not good i did not like my meal here but sometimes you win some you lose some and this was definitely a loss but the view was really nice though it was of the west side of Los Angeles and that's it.